Hello all, welcome back for another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to continue with our database SQL programming in the arcade. Uh, so if you are getting started in this in the middle of the series, I will go ahead and put a link down below to the playlist so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade. I'm going to go to databases here. Uh, so we've already done 1 through 11 and we, we left off here on uh, number 12. So we're doing suspects investigation 2. So here we go. We got a large amount of money was stolen today from the main city bank and as the chief of police is here to do to find the robber. You store information about your suspects in the table suspect which has the structure ID, name, surname, height, weight. Uh, so if you looked at this, the other uh, suspect investigation one, uh, this is the same structure. You have already gathered some evidence and discovered the following clues. According to the camera records, the robber is uh, taller than 170 centimeters. The robber left their signature near the crime scene, uh, B uh, dot G R E, and then we don't know what the fourth character is, N. B definitely stands for the first letter of the robber's name. And G R E question mark N is their surname. The fourth letter of the surname is smudged by ketchup and is unreadable. The clues you've obtained allow you to let some suspects go since they can't possibly be guilty. So now we need to build a list that contains the people who, who can be freed based on the inf gathered information. For each of these people, you'll need to know his or her ID, name, and surname. Please note that the information obtained from the clue should be considered case insensitive, blah, blah, blah. Given the table suspect, build the result table as follows. The table should have columns ID, name, and surname, and its values should be ordered by the suspect's IDs in ascending order. All right, so again, this is the suspect table they've given us ID name, which is the first name, surname is the last name, height and weight, and what they want is the ID name, surname. Uh, okay, so first, uh, the select, very simple. Uh, we're just taking the ID, name, and surname directly from this suspects table. So I just do select, ID, name, and surname. And then again, we're doing from the suspect table. So I just do from the suspect table. And then where is where most of the work is here. So again, according to the camera records, the robber is taller than 170 centimeters. So we're trying to figure out who some of the suspects we can let go. So we're looking for people whose height is less than or equal to 170 centimeters. So we can let those people go. Another condition that will allow us to eliminate them from the pool is if their name is not like uh, B Green. So B is the first name, so that's stored in this uh, name field here. So if we go or name not like uh, B uh, percentage. So if the percentage says uh, it can be any number of characters after B, including no characters at all. So it could just be uh, B by itself. But we only know that uh, his first name starts with a B. So if anybody has a name that doesn't start with B, uh, like John, or I guess that's it. It'll eliminate John in that case. And then we've got the other condition, which is uh, green, or G-R-E, and then some character, could be anything, uh, N. So we're going to do or surname not like G-R-E because we know these characters right here, the first three and the last one, we put those in. And then this underscore means any one character could be in there. If we put two underscores, that means any two characters could be in, in there, and so on. All right. And then we just order by ID, because they want us to order by the table by the IDs ascending. We don't have to put ascending because by default it will already do that. We use the OR keyword because if 
a person meets any of these conditions, we can let them go because they're not the suspect we're looking for. All right, if we run the tests, uh, all the tests pass successfully, so it looks like this is the correct answer. All right, I hope you guys are able to follow along um, and are now understanding the like uh, keyword uh, operator a little bit better. And maybe I'll see you guys in later videos. Thank you very much.